Okay, guys, welcome back to the Morales YouTube channel. Today, we have a very special guest with us. We have Nicholas from uh, Delta. And uh, this is not your average dev because Nicholas has millions of users in Delta app. And is, it will be interesting to hear how you guys have been um, uh, going on your journey, how you reach the milestones you're now, and also discuss the tech solutions you guys are using and so forth. But big welcome, Nicholas. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me. So this channel is a dev channel. Many developers watch us, Web3 developers. And of course, when you start a project, you want the project to be big. You want uh, users, you want uh, action in the app. And um, you guys have a lot of them. So can you please talk to us a bit about how your journey has been and uh, how you reach the, the success and status you have now in the, in the app world, the, the Web3 app world? Yeah, sure. I, I think uh, Delta launched already uh, quite a while ago. It was, I would say, September 2017. It's been uh, quite a roller coaster since then. Uh, I wouldn't say we've been there since the very first, um, yeah, upwards trend, but definitely one of the the biggest ones so far. And I think we we had to, the luxury to be. Yeah, really right on time in terms of release. Uh, we couldn't have predicted that. And of course, I think Delta has always been very much um, positively received because of its UI and UX. So it allowed us to grow quite quickly. Uh, we are now nearing 5 million users, but I think uh, in the first half year, we were already at half a million. Um, which caught the attention of, of what is currently our mother company, company which is uh, eToro. Yeah, and then you guys got acquired as, I, as far as I understand, right? Yeah, yeah. So eToro acquired us at the end of 2019. So that was about two years after we launched Delta, which is quite fast, I would say. And to be honest, that has been a, a real blessing because we've been able to to keep investing into the product, to have a bit of best of both worlds, I would say, because Citoro is a huge company. So it's now being able to run Delta as kind of a startup scale up within a corporate environment, uh, which really allows us to, to focus fully on innovation, which is one of the things that uh, you guys helped us with. Yeah, and, and it's interesting to see when you started, it was in 2017, you said, right when the ICOs became big and this whole explosion in all coins and all coin tracking. And the, how did you do it practically? So was it you that started coding or like you and a few friends? How, how was like day one, day two, to, uh, take well, us to those times? Well, I, I do have a computer science degree, but I'm not a coder myself uh, nowadays. So I think in 2017, it was me and Philip, who was uh, one of the co-founders back then. So us two really had a, a really good partnership. So he was a very technical profile, but with a, a lot of product affinity, I would say. And for me, it was the reverse. So we really gelled well. I think uh, working together almost in a hackathon kind of way allowed us to really, really uh, get results quite fast. And I think back then um, there was this, I, I would say there was only one app on the market, which was Blockfolio, which then got rebranded to FTX and is no longer yeah, in existence. But I think the good thing for us was it was very easy to get the knowledge expertise that we had built from previous startups to bring that into the the crypto world and back then in 20, 2017, it was, I would call it a, yeah, an, an, a market that was very underdeveloped still. And so with good UI and UX and really listening to users and having a different way to handle community, uh, now it's quite common and it's not really special anymore. But when it was in 2017, it definitely was and it really, really allowed us to build a community, build ambassadors of Delta have fans even, uh, and, and, and I think it pr speaks volumes because I think back then we had a couple of people that really wanted to help us out purely voluntarily. And I think still four or five of those have turned into full-time employees at Delta still to this day. Mm. 
Yeah, that's awesome when you have grassroots community around the product. Uh, yeah. I also recognize ourselves a bit because that's how we at Morales also started with uh, the dev tools where we also, yeah. I think we're one of the first ones to really push a lot of content, a lot of tutorials. And then, like you say, also people want to contribute and then they join the team as well. So this yeah. grassroots is, is key, especially in crypto. And so we currently work with many different uh, portfolio managers and wallets. And one of the challenges everyone ha has is this data indexing because portfolio at the end, it's about uh, showing data. And you guys have all kinds of data with um, a TradFi data and, and crypto data. So how did you build it up fr from the beginning? And how did you like reason about this, uh, this, uh, this problem? And how has it evolved uh, over time? So yeah, when, when Delta launched, we basically wanted to solve a problem that we felt ourselves, Philip and I. So we were investing on different exchanges, uh, different coins, I think. People who have been there since 2017 or earlier will remember that Coinbase for a very long time only supported three cryptocurrencies, which was Bitcoin, Ethereum and Litecoin. For everything else, you had to go to the Bitrexes, the Krakens, the... Poloniex, um, Poloniex in the yeah, chat. Box. In, in the, the <laughs> <control box. laughs> so, uh, any, anything. So, and then those didn't have that token. So it was a really scattered thing. You had no idea how much money do I actually have invested, let alone how much profit or loss uh, did I get until that point on a daily basis. So that's something we wanted to solve. So we really started with making connections with the APIs of all those crypto exchanges, making sure that we got all the accurate price data. People could add their transactions manually, but also could sync their account automatically through uh, exchange account connections, which was really groundbreaking in 2017. Again, today it, it no longer is, but um, it really allowed us to to give users insights into their their investments and get like almost an an addicted mode to Delta while constantly opening it. So how much did it went up, especially in bullish markets? Um, and a few years later, we we kind of noticed that the problem was. At its core, no longer as yeah as as yeah as active, I would say. So, Coinbase, Binance, they they started really going into the let's support as much cryptocurrencies as possible. So we saw a lot of shift to users of Delta that basically used one exchange uh, and then maybe a wallet or so. But then, if you think about the financial markets as a whole, then the same problem exists if you're also an investor in stocks or in ETFs. So how do you get an, an, a, a nice overview of everything together? So that's how Delta Crypto Tracker became Delta Investment Tracker, allowing users to really track everything. Uh, but at its core, we've always been a crypto tracker. Makes sense. And th this is fascinating how the financial world evolves because then uh, since you guys started in 2017, we now have DEXs and like everything is moving yeah. on chain. So in reality, you just need maybe one exchange to get on ramp and then you need the, to buy the gas coin of whatever chain. And then a lot of it you can then do on chain as well. So it's, yeah, it's a it's very different landscape and always yeah. evolving. And so the way we work together is that... Um, we provide Delta with NFT API, which is displaying a, a bunch of information about NFTs, metadata, and so on and so forth. Yeah. And also, uh, why did it move API, as we call it, where why did it move API provides information about whatever pumps or dumps and some explanation in a, in a chronological mm -hmm. order. So how do you guys use it? And, and what caught your eye when, when, uh, when um, you started to, to integrate it? And why was it prioritized from your end? Why did you put a priority on this, this kind of feature? Well, a lot of features of Delta are originating from a crypto focus in the beginning. And then we saw how that more innovative financial markets or worlds could actually benefit also features towards the traditional investors and stocks and ETFs and stuff. But for why is it moving? It's one of the few examples that is the reverse. So we had for stocks already a feature called why is it moving, where people got very topical in the moment every day for a significant upwards or downwards movements, a one or two sentence explanation why Apple, why Tesla is up or down. But then we noticed we didn't have this for crypto and we really needed a party that could do proper research and do this in a very effective, uh, informative way. Because um, we noticed that we didn't have the team ourselves to do this. 
Um, so we ended up with working with you guys, which has been going quite well, because why is it moving is one of our top performing features. We we enable it, enable it only for our pro users. So people that have a subscription at Delta get access to this. They get notified on their phone about all the assets they follow. So if they, for instance, um, follow Polkadot, for instance, and there's an, an, an upwards or downwards motion, and there's a specific research uh, behind it to prove why this has been the case, they will get notified very much in the moment and it's yeah like i said it's it, you, you kind of have to experience it to just to 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 feel that it's quite magical for something super super simple in theory but uh yeah i think uh, also when we work together with eToro you see that also they are now introducing this why is it moving for stocks and hopefully uh for crypto as well hopefully as well with uh, morales yeah, and this whole space of tracking assets it, in blockchain is fascinating because it should be, you think it's simple. Everything is on chain. You just look on chain, you know, everything should be there. But it's so scattered and it's uh, all kinds of different smart contracts and places to mm -hmm. look at and decode. So we're very excited uh, for what we have in store as well in the coming months with like DeFi positions to mm -hmm. given a wallet, know whatever DeFi they're in, what kind of uh, liquidity pools, DeFi positions taking and so on and so forth. Uh, obviously adding different chains and so on also. Uh, but another thing is just like uh, the transaction history of users on chain is also super difficult to know because, again, yep. there are many wallets, many smart contract tokens, NFTs and so on and so forth, smart wallets as well. Now it's a new thing that people not only have their own address, they also have that address controlling an account abstracted address that then in turn is like a smart wallet. So uh, we're looking forward to collaborating more on, uh, on this portfolio related things. And tell me more about the pro subscription that you guys have because everyone who is watching this channel the morales channel everyone is a dev but all devs in crypto are also traders i haven't seen a single dev who is at least not a bit interested in buying selling trading coins uh, in, in crypto as well um so uh, you, you mentioned that you get this news feature uh, with why did it move but what else like is fundamentally different between the free plan in delta and the pro plan yeah, sure. So the Delta Pro has a, quite a lot of features, actually. I think one of the, the more obvious ones is the fact that if you have profit loss, we have actually advanced metrics on top of that. So you can get a really nice overview of realized profits versus uh, unrealized profits and total cost basis. So like going that level deeper, the same for portfolio. We have like three, four modules of portfolio insights where people that are free users also get access to but then we have like eight nine modules on top of this that are only for pro users so you can see what are my good decisions what are my bad decisions what is my diversity my risk analysis so all of these yeah smart insights into your portfolio is is reserved for pro users most of them um, we also have live updating prices which is only for pro users we have the ability to connect more than two different wallets, basically an unlimited amount of exchanges and wallets combined with broker accounts that you can connect. So it's completely limitless, uh, as well as the amount of devices you can use Delta on. It's, it's, it's quite elaborate. And even though it's quite an elaborate, elaborate list of features we offer to pro users, the free experience is actually also, yeah, barely limited. So it's really for those people that want to supercharge their uh, investment tracking um, but it's not like the experience for a free user is completely uh, walled off and, and is really useless or very i would say only showing a tip of the iceberg no no we want really at its core uh, that delta is is a is a very valuable product for everyone and for those that really want to level up we have delta pro so guys, all of you watching, check out Delta. And it's basically in case you have TradFi and crypto, especially if you have TradFi and crypto and you want to combine those worlds in a very nice way, mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, one of a kind. And then if you are, are only in crypto as well with the pro features, it's it's extremely unique. And how can people find the Uniclass or Delta? What's the best way for people to get uh, involved in the Delta ecosystem? Become like one of these fans uh, like in the early days. Well, I think the the best way to become a fan is to start using it. Uh, and to start using it is going to your app store, typing Delta Investment Tracker or going to uh, delta.app. 
uh, is the, it's the simplest way. You can, of course, connect with me on Twitter as well, or X, sorry, uh, which is Nicholas VH. Uh, if you have questions, suggestions, or stuff you really would like to see to the app, uh, definitely uh, send me a message. And uh, other than that, yeah, really, like you said, um, it's, 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 it's a valuable product for everyone, but especially if you're a multi-asset investor, then it's, it's kind of um, a revelation to be able to see everything combined into one. So guys, all the links are in the description. Nicolas, thanks a lot for being here. Uh, good luck with the coming releases of Delta. We're going to be following them. And you guys, subscribe, smash the like, check the links, and goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Cheers.